Maybe you haven't seen that you can now use AutoGPT directly in your browser. It finally happened. ChatGPT can now type and click buttons for you on any website. Adobe just launched AI video editing. If you didn't know, AI can detect feelings in real time using facial expressions. This isn't a real image, but are there any tells? You're missing out on turning your drawings into animations. Elon Musk just revealed that he's going to make a chat GPT competitor called Truth GPT. Maybe you haven't seen that you can now use Auto GPT directly in your browser. So here's the scoop. For the last two weeks, there has been some GitHub repos called AutoGPT and Baby AGI. These become autonomous AI agents that can do things on your behalf. Instead of writing with ChatGPT one question at a time, you can give the AutoGPT a goal and it will just go out there for you and research a bunch of things and try to solve the problem with just the goal in mind. As you can see here, how can I make as much money as possible in New York City in a day without a job? And it did all these tasks for him, like identify high traffic areas in New York City where potential customers are likely to be present, search for popular tourist attractions in New York City using Google, research and select profitable products or services that can be sold quickly and easily in those areas. Now it's working on developing a marketing strategy to attract customers. It's available now on godmode.space. Elon Musk just revealed that he's going to make a chat GPT competitor called Truth GPT. So it seems like the world needs a third option. Yes. So I, 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 I think I will create a third option, um, although it's starting very late in the game, of course. Can it um, be done? I don't know. I think it's, we'll, we'll see. It's, uh, it's definitely starting late, um, but I will, I, will, I will try to create a third option. Um, and that third option hopefully does more, more good than harm. Uh, like the intention with OpenAI was uh, obviously to do good, but it's not clear whether it's actually doing good or whether it's, I, I can't tell at this point, um, except that I'm worried about the fact that uh, it's, being, it's being trained to be politically correct, which is simply another way of, of being untruth, saying untruthful things. Yes. So that's, that's a bad sign. There's certainly a path to AI dystopia is to train an AI to be deceptive. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to start something which I know you could call truth GBT or uh, a maximum truth seeking AI that tries to understand the nature of the universe. And I think this, this might be the best path to safety in the sense that uh, an AI that cares about understanding the universe uh, it is unlikely to annihilate humans because we are an interesting part of the universe. Uh, hopefully, <laughs> they would think that. I, I think it would, I, you know, because, yeah, like, like, we, we, like huma humanity could um, decide to hunt down all the chimpanzees and kill them. But we yes. don't. Interesting take here that saying politically correct means that you're basically lying because it's not the truth. Now this is obviously trending on Twitter saying truth the GPT launch. Smoke Away on Twitter had a poll with 65% going to truth the GPT. I believe that truth the GPT will speak in SpaceX rocket launch countdowns and its first words are going to be by Dogecoin. There's a free AI Chrome extension that lets you create automations on any website so it can save you a bunch of time. No need to copy and paste things anymore. No need to type on your computer or no need to click your mouse. This can do it all for you with the magic of AI. It's called Bardeen AI. It already comes with all these built-in automations, but if you don't know what to do, you can just click in the top right here and write, for example, scrape LinkedIn user data and put it on Google Sheets and click on let our AI assistant build it for you. Just like that, it created a custom automation. I just click on scraper data, just click on list or table. So it needs help collecting the list. So I'm just going to click one, two, and then it has all the data of all the people here. Now I'm going to click on pagiation, which means next page, next page, next page. 
And now we can select what data we want. So we want their name, their description, where they live also. Now we can just save the template and just like that, click on done. And we want to set it to 100 items because if you don't do that, then it will go forever essentially. Now look at this, it's happening as we speak. Just like that, now you can see view the scrape document. Boom, just like that, name, description, location, all in this perfect file right here. Also another sample is I can do a crypto type website with all of this data points. You can open the tab, click on the new scraper tool, click on list and table, start building, and just click on one of the tabs here. And then the AI scraper is just gonna scrape all the data for you. To test it out, just go to Bardeen AI slash download and just install the Chrome extension. You're missing out on turning your drawings into animations. As you can see, this is definitely not like a kid drawing four different stick figures and now they're all dancing like they're leprechauns on St. Patrick's Day. The website is called sketchmetademolab.com and you can just click on get started here. I'm just gonna swipe one of these drawings here. I can upload a photo. There we go, swiping the drawing right here. Uh, yes, please. Now they need to find the character. So we're gonna scan it right here and I can just continue drawing a little bit more. It, didn't get the exact dimensions here. And I can erase the background, click on next. <laughs> it's actually rigging it with a head, arms, legs, body. And now your animation should be ready soon. Damn. <laughs> it had to go out with his hands just wailing around. Let's make it wave. Oh, that's so cute. Let's try making it box. Hey, oh. <laughs> Yo, how long till an AI stick figure starts uploading on TikTok and gets more likes than me? It finally happened. ChatGPT can now type and click buttons for you on any website. Look, this is a plugin of ChatGPT and he says, think of a 100 word tweet on AI. Then he writes, now post it on my Twitter. Just like that, it opens the browser, it's writing, and then it's now gonna click on tweet. And just like that, it happened. What about suggesting an Italian restaurant in Palo Alto for a date? It's using the plugin open table. Then you can actually book the first one for 7.30 PM with outdoor seating using Multion browser. It will then open the link for him, click the date, and the time and click the buttons for him. Then he's saying, fill my info. And here he has all the info. Look at this, it's writing for him. Then he says, great, complete the reservation. And then it just clicks on the button and he literally didn't have to do anything. In the wrong hands, this could be dangerous. So don't give access to this to anybody that is a shopaholic. If you didn't know, AI can detect feelings in real time using facial expressions. Obviously Will Smith here, and you can see on the right that it tags kind of the happy, positive here, the excited, surprised. You can see the entire list here based on the emotions of his face. Now you can see here, this is Terry Crews, is it? And he's happy, smiling, excited. And you can see that now, here is going to the negative side where she's more like sad. This guy is disgust slash angry. This guy, girl is neutral and more positive or is she sad or is she depressed? This guy is more angry, fearful. This girl is more sad, very sad. You can see it now. This girl is angry, <laughs> angry as hell. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, screaming. Can we put screaming on there? Now she's happy. Psychopath behavior type. Oh. No, she's definitely angry there. Yeah, now sad. Very sad. <laughs> we can finally solve the mystery of Mona Lisa's smile. Quick question, how can you tell that this isn't a real image? It's made by Midjourney, 
but are there any tells? This is what Nick Floats asked on Twitter and he's asking his expert audience. I can't tell if it's real or not, but it got the MJ style, definitely. The skin on the chest is way too blurry slash plastic slash fake looking. Unless fully custom wallpaper, that ain't marble. The smoothness of the skin feels off. Collarbone seems strange and that's where the smoothness seems most artificial and where the illusion breaks down. It looks more like a good oil painting than a photograph. Nick saying a depression there is totally normal. The shadow on the left earring is messed up. Damn, I didn't see that. Chest and neck give it away. Saying how so? Plastic looking. Chest a bit flat. Impressive nonetheless. Damn, body shaming, a mid-journey image. Right clavicle shadow is off where it meets the dress. <laughs> people are really out here thinking about clavicle shadows. All right, people, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to check out this video. I mean, if you haven't seen it yet, it's pretty good. Either way, I love you. Peace.